This is Carl Moore for the Globe Mail. Today I'm talking to my colleague Henry Mintzberg and his new e-pamphlet, which you can download for free from his website, mintzberg.org. Henry, you, you run two great programs, the IMPM, the IMHL, one for business, more business, and, and NGOs, one more for health. How does this tie into your, your e-pamphlet? Well, you know, the, the, one of the key themes, I mean, it's a whole different pedagogy, the, the way we, 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 we work in, in small groups with experienced people in the classroom. They spend half the time discussing with themselves and working out their own issues. Um, one of the key themes of both, they're both master's programs, and one of, the, one of the key themes is the sense of community, both the sense of community in the class and, and encouraging them to see organizations, the way I put it, a, a, a healthy company or a healthy healthcare organization is not a collection of human resources, it's a community of human beings. And, and that whole sense of community, both within the classroom and in their organizations that go back, is very strong in that program. And to me, that's how you, how you really create healthy organizations. Um, in addition, the IMHL, the International Masters for Health Leadership, it, it, we describe it as a forum for the, um, for the en en enhancement of healthcare worldwide. Um, and so people really come to that program with a sense of how can I make healthcare better? Not just how can I make me, make me better, not to, how can I make my hospital better, but also what, how can we contribute a, as a class to making healthcare stronger around the world? It, it seems like uh, appealing to our better natures is a central thing that you're having a sense of purpose and meaning beyond just ourselves. Well, you know, the way I describe the economic dogma is greed is good, and you've heard that often enough. Uh, markets are, are um, sufficient. Uh, property is sacrosanct, and governments are suspect. I mean, that's a, you know, I, the way I put it in the pamphlet is, as one view of human nature, that may make some sense. As the view of human nature, it's nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. It, it, it caters to our basest, worst side. Who, who can be intrinsically happy? you know, with that kind of a thing. I, I quote Eric Hoffer, the famous longshoreman philosopher, who said, you can never get enough of what you don't really need. And too many of us are striving to get more of what we don't really need, as opposed to really trying to build a better world. It's not just building a better world. It's, uh, the world is in, is, is in dire straits. It's, it's uh, you know, there's a whole debate about um, how long we've got for global warming? I think that's the wrong question for two reasons. Number one, if we don't know how long we've got, then why bother doing anything? But number two is how long did the Filipinos have uh, with their recent storm? Zero years. It's not a question of how long we've got. Some people have already got zero. It's too late for them. Other people are going to get it next year or the year after. There's not going to be a big bang in 2050. Uh, there's just going to be increasing storms and other things, increasing exploitation, um, and we have to stop that. Or, or, or we're doomed, I think, as a, civil, as a human civilization. 